So I had came up with a random idea. So um most of my stock apps they automatically calculate the shares and how much you'll be spending, but what if you can plan that ahead and be a bit more strategic about it? So for someone new to investing or maybe experience, you could figure out well, plan out the stocks that you are interested in and then with that you can set up a budget uh how much money you have total and then what you where do you want to put it so say i had like five thousand dollars oh actually that just gave me another idea to add on to this probably later on but yeah so i have five thousand dollars with that in mind i can say <clears throat> The shares purchase price, like say Snapchat right now was at like 12 bucks. I want to buy 5 shares of Snapchat, so it just calculated that into there. So it would be like 60 bucks. The current price, that well that's 60 bucks that you invested. So when the price grows, what is it going to look like? So right now it's 44 bucks. So now it's showing you your current total, how much it's up right now, and this is your total profit from that. So you invested 60 bucks, and it grew by 160 bucks because you invested five shares by that point. So I can do the same thing with like Pinterest. So say I bought that one at 12 bucks as well, and I wanted to get um 25 shares and now it's at 55 notice the difference there when you add when you have more shares and it go, rises up from a smaller point you get more money out of it so we have shares of apple Sometimes you have to be strategic because sometimes with bigger numbers You get a bit well, you can get more or you can get less. It just depends on how much it grows by So I only got five shares of that but if it grew to 300 you get a thousand Shares of Microsoft what if I got 25 shares of Microsoft then? so That'd be like a five thousand dollar investment if I wanted twenty five shares of Microsoft. But if it was at two hundred dollars, then the price rose to about five hundred dollars. What would that look like? So that would be the current total profit and etc. So and then we have this area with the projections. So it can grow. This is if you figure out a projection, what it, the value is projected to, you can include that in here and it's going to calculate that so say you believe that snapchat was actually going to go to like 55 bucks for the year everything's calculated and then if i believe thought at one point it may go to 500 what if it goes to 500 bucks it's calculating that what if it goes to a thousand or three thousand that's what it's going to look like in the future like with the possibilities if you believe that there's like the stock is that great it would do that pinterest um, what if the projected value was 125? Apple, what if the projected value was 500? Microsoft, maybe 600. Stuff like that, you can input it, everything is calculated for you. You're not really doing much math. And I can do the same thing with cryptocurrencies. Made to, and then you can create a budget to see what your budget looks like for the entire year so what if your rent was like whoops not 200 well you know, I could have just left two thousand dollars it's gonna show you what you're spending throughout the entire lifetime of the year so twenty four thousand dollars on rent car insurance Oh, registration, whoops. 
No, I could have just left it the same, whatever. But might as well calculate it. Stuff like that. You just get a good look at your finances, what you're spending your money on. It helps in the long run. As far as figuring out what you're spending your money on and where it's going. But, yeah, that's the idea here. You can do that, figure it out. And then see if you have room to invest based on how much money you make. So say you bring in about $4,000 a month. That's gonna also, that could also show you how much you make for the year. And what if you had a side hustle that was bringing in like 500 That can be calculated into that as well. Whatever set amount of day you can edit it at any time. So what if your check was different? Just come back and just tweak it to match that. But yeah, ultimately it's designed to show you if you're making money, saving money, if you're spending too much money, and where the money is going, how much you're spending for the entire year. And then you could always edit at your own pace. So but yeah, this is something that I decided I'd make for my training to just give out I can t my training will show you how to make this but also give you access to this once my stock training is complete anyways but yeah for people who want access to it if you see this on YouTube the, my Facebook link will be in the description um, if you've seen this on Facebook feel free to hit me up ask questions or if you know how to do this stuff and you see this as an idea for yourself, hey, feel free to give this video a like and subscribe. There will be a lot of different types of content like this.